operations of the office of the First Lady, the spouse of the Deputy President, and the Prime Cabinet Secretary will be removed. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your always great support. Finally, after the intervention of the Jesus, we are no longer going to have the office of the First Lady, Madam Rachel Ruto, facilitated by public money. Number two, we are not going to have the office of the Second Lady, Pastor Dorcas Rigabi, facilitated by public money. Thirdly, we are not going to have the office of the Prime Cabinet together with his spouse, Tessy Mdavadi. As I speak, as I was just listening to William Ruto just about one hour ago, he has come out to remove a lot of things after the little demonstration that was staged by the Gen Z's. And several, about 47 state parastatals has been dissolved. He has come out again to remove and suspend the office of the chief administrative secretaries that was expected to be crafted just two weeks to come. Now we are not going to have the offices of the chief administrative secretary, so-called CAS, in this Republic of Kenya. As if that is not enough, again, ladies and gentlemen, after the intervention of the young youths, Occupy, sponsoring the hashtag Occupy Our Churches, we are no longer going to have MPs organizing fundraisings across the Republic of Kenya. I want you to listen to whatever William Ruta has just said about one hour ago, then we continue. But we, before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, please just do me a favor, ensure you like the video. When you like the video, you automatically support the work that I'm doing. I realize that sometimes you bump into the video, you watch, and you forget liking the video. So just do me a favor, ensure you like the video. Let us listen to whatever William Ruto is saying. 47 state corporations with overlapping and duplicating functions will be dissolved, resulting in the elimination of their operational and maintenance costs, and their functions will be integrated into the respective line ministries. Staff currently employed by the affected corporations will be transferred to ministries and other state agencies within government. The decision to fill the position of, cabinet, uh, uh, of chief administrative secretaries is hereby suspended. The number of advisors in government shall be reduced by 50% within the public service with immediate effect. Budget lines providing for the operations of the office of the First Lady, the spouse of the Deputy President, and the Prime Cabinet Secretary will be removed. Similarly, the job budget the budget provisions for confidential budgets in various executive offices, including my own office, have been removed and the budget for renovations across government reduced by 50%. Henceforth, public servants who attain the retirement age of 60 shall be required to immediately proceed on retirement with no extensions to their tenure of service whatsoever. The purchase of new motor vehicles by the government is suspended for 12 months, except for security agencies, while a new policy on transport for public officers will be developed. All non-essential travel by state and public officers is hereby suspended. No state officer or public servant shall participate in public contributions or haram phase 
going forward. The Attorney General is hereby directed to prepare and submit legislation to this effect and develop a mechanism for structured and transparent contributions for public, charitable, and philanthropic purposes. These measures will be followed by changes in government that I will be making shortly. As if that not the case, we are also waiting for the reshuffle of the cabinet ministers. Just about two to three hours to come after William Ruto um, finalized his uh, dialogue with the Gen Z's on X. As we speak also, we are having the government advisors. They are going to be reduced by 50%. This is just after the intervention of the Gen Z's, where some were killed, butchered, maimed, and you saw whatever the police did to the Gen Z's during the demonstration. And already, is like bearing the fruit. So several individuals in this Kenya Kwanzaa government, they are going to be shown the door. As if that is not enough, we are expecting William Samuel Ruto to cut the expenditure directed to his traveling, not only locally, but internationally. At the same time, William Ruto is saying he has already appointed the task, task force that is going to intervene. How much has been borrowed? How much has been paid? How much is being collected in terms of taxes? And so we can understand how much should we pay and how much has been borrowed and how we should cut the borrowing. As William Ruto is now being squeezed into a tight corner, that he is not going to be tolerated. If he's going to have elected individuals in this Kenya Kwanza government. Now, William Ruto is being forced to fire several individuals in his government. Now, I've seen also William Ruto talking about the age limit, about who should retire. He has said that above 60, they must retire. Then it means people like Moses Wetangula, the Speaker of the National Assembly, <laughs> must go home. Let them just submit their resignation letter to the right authorities. Secondly, we have, in, for example, the CS of Education, CS Machu. I'm a Peter U60. Let him also render his resignation. Because William Ruto said, those who are above 60, they must resign and enjoy their retirement benefit immediately with effect. That is whatever William Ruto has said. But now, Kenyans, I have a question here. Despite of William Ruto reorganizing now his government after the Gen Z's intervention, is William Ruto going to change? Because those who also destroyed his government, Several members of parliament that were here and there. Wakuna kiburi mingi sana. And this must be stopped. This must be stopped. The way he's stopping the fundraising across the Republic of Kenya, among these members of parliament, he must also stop loitering around the Republic of Kenya and even attending some events that are small, that MCAs are the one to to control or oversee some several developments. These cabinet ministers must minimize. You know, when I talk about project, is that you find that these CSS, they usually move across the Republic of Kenya with air uh, with, with el helicopters across the Republic of Kenya. They use more than even 500 million Kenya shillings just moving with helicopters with just few hours. The, the development they are taking there is so minimal, you can't see, can see them. So the message is very clear. William Samoe Ruto must reorganize his government. And if this government is not going to do what Kenyans wants,
then William Ruto must go. I've seen some people are taken to court because of just saying William, Mart William Ruto must go. It is not a secret here. If he cannot organize his government, let him go. That is it. So now at least some things that we were addressing is now coming to be implemented. And we are watching. We are not going to relent. We are busy watching. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.